next guest is head of one of the biggest U.S. investment banks. He warned us the Ukraine conflict and stronger dollar would be a headwind this year. He's been proven right. Shares of his firm Stiefel, though, are down just under 9% since January. For more, let's welcome back Ron Kraszewski. He is the chairman and CEO of Stiefel Financial, live from the bank's annual cross-sector insight conference with hundreds of companies gathered to compare notes on the economy. Ron, it's great to have you. And, and what are your early takeaways? Hey, Kelly. Great to be on. You know, first of all, what a difference a year makes. You know, we have 400 companies uh, representing consumer, industrial, tech, energy. So we see a lot of viewpoints. A year ago, everyone was talking about huge demand, easy money, uh, and maybe transitory inflation. Yet, like, that was a year ago. Today, it doesn't matter what room I walk into, every company is talking the same thing. Uh, inflation, tight labor markets, energy costs, and supply chain constraints. It's the same, it's the same story. You, uh, that's ailing all these companies. Do you think the credit them. Swiss story is, you know, this is their third warning now. They've been going through a restructuring and, and, and kind of some company-specific problems. But are there warning uh, sort of signs, signals, whatever, that you would take away? I mean, listen, J.P. Morgan, Jamie Dimon said similar things about storm clouds on the horizon. Um, what, how would you characterize the economy and, and the position of the business right now? Well, you know, uh, Kelly, I, I think, first of all, in a rising rate environment, uh, you would argue that you should own financials. Uh, the reason that you don't own financials today is that no one wants to own a financial uh, before a recession. So what's weighing on financials is the threat of a recession. And what we really need to talk about and what I'm concerned about going forward is, you know, we all know that bull markets don't die of old age. The, the Fed does something to kill them. And the question is, is what is the Fed going to do? And let me be specific, Kelly. It's pretty baked in. The Fed's going to do 50 in June, 50 in July, and probably 50 in September. My question is, and what I'm concerned about, is after that September uh, increase, the Fed needs to pause. We've had 20 years of rate suppression. We can't reverse it in one year. Wow. Say that again, no, Ron. I, you think they need to not not just not do a, a half point hike in September. You want them to pause rate hikes altogether? No, no. no. I think that they. I do think that if we get to two to two and a quarter, that inflation will will be coming in. And I just think that the uh, we need to pause before we go too far, because you know this country asset values in this country are based on twenty years of suppressed interest rates, and uh, you can't fix it all in one year. Wow. And that's that's my concern. And so I think that once we get to two and two and a quarter, I think it'd be prudent to wait. You know, inflation is a lagging indicator. Uh, we need to see how it comes in before we're jumping to three, three and a half percent, because I do think that will cause a recession.